Hello everyone, glad to have you back. Content can get lost over time. I know that very well. Ever since the release of the original game, some things related to F-Zero have been lost and today I want to talk about all the things that I could find that have been documented as lost. In the past video I said that everything from BS F-Zero Grand Prix 1 and 2 was found and restored, but as one of you pointed out, that wasn't correct. The entirety of BS F-Zero Grand Prix is available online. I will not share any links here for obvious reasons, but they aren't hard to find. BS F-Zero Grand Prix 2 is where it gets tricky. Out of the 10 tracks available, only 5 have been found. The other 5 that have not been found anywhere yet are Forest 1, 2 and 3 and Metal Fort 1 and 2. We know how they look like since there are videos out there, but sadly no ROMs to play them. I don't know how I forgot, but there's also this. With this, I have some hope that it may be found eventually. The chances aren't too high, but who knows, maybe someone has it somewhere. If you have seen this video, you know all about it by now. I won't go into any detail here because I would just be repeating myself. If you want to know more about Zero Racers, please watch my video about it and also watch this. Did you know gaming managed to get in touch with someone who actually worked on the game and managed to get some additional information that I wasn't able to get? Uh, as I said in my video, it's very very unlikely that we will ever get to see this game. It's been too long, the Virtual Boy is too weird and Nintendo is just... well, Nintendo. I doubt they are gonna give us a Virtual Boy Classic and just randomly add Zero Racers. But one can dream. The F-Zero X Nintendo of America website has been down for quite some time now, but a lot of information about it has been archived on this website. You will find it in the description. I will not go into too much detail here, it's basically just non-can information about all the pilots and some extra stuff. I mentioned some of it in this video as non-can information and well, that's all it really is. It's interesting to read, but nothing to take too seriously. What I find fascinating though is that this website is also the source of Captain Falcon's alleged name of Douglas Jack Falcon, which I have heard a few times, but here you see that it's not true. As far as I know, the only name Captain Falcon ever had was Bart Lemming and, well, Andy Summer, but both of them are just anime lore and that is also different from the main canon. Anyway, around this time there also was a webcomic based on f 0 X. I'm sure you have heard of it. All we have is two pages. The two were featured in the magazine at the time. The website isn't archived properly, I can't access it through the Wayback Machine. It's most likely based on information from the website though, so it won't be canon. But it would still be an interesting piece of media. My hopes for this one are also pretty low. It was the late 90s and early 2000s, the internet just wasn't what it is today. I doubt anyone archived all of it, and even if someone did, does the hard drive still work and do they even remember? I'm sure somewhere at Nintendo is something about this, but good luck getting that information. Well, this is a weird one. Usually you'd think you can just go onto YouTube and search for f GX soundtrack and find everything, and while you will find a lot, as long as Nintendo hasn't found the channel yet, you won't find some specific songs. There's a website out there that may be helpful. KHinsider.com has pretty much all the video game music you could want. What I'm interested in is a few songs from F-Zero GX. This one in particular. I've looked through all the albums, searched on other websites and found... nothing. The song was never released. The only way we can listen to the original is by watching this cutscene. There are two pretty good cover versions on YouTube, there are links to both in the description. I recommend you to listen to both, they are quite good to be honest. This song isn't alone though. I'm sure that pretty much all the music from the cutscenes is lost. With some chapters it's easier to listen to what's available since there's nothing else to disrupt the music like chapter 1's cutscene. As much as I want to be able to listen to all these songs, I highly doubt we will ever be able to do so. Here is where it gets a bit uncertain. 
There aren't any online sources that can confirm or deny this, so take this with a grain of salt. In 2004, the first episode of the GP Legend anime was released in English. 14 more episodes followed before it was eventually cancelled, probably due to low viewership and bad ratings. According to some sites, more episodes may have been translated to English but never aired. I think this may be plausible since it would just make sense to work on multiple episodes and not just the next one to be released, but there is not much out there except this image which shows the title of the 16th episode, which was never aired, so that may be proof that at least one more episode existed. Maybe even more were translated, but who knows, it's been quite some time and it would take someone who actually worked on this back then to confirm how much was actually done. As sad as it may sound, I think this is pretty much lost forever. I doubt that there ever was any intention of ever showing the rest of the translation anywhere. And I don't think there is anyone who may have access to these episodes after such a long time. I wouldn't be surprised if the storage media they have been stored on has been corrupted, deleted or even destroyed by now. So this is pretty much the list of lost media I could find. I'm sure there are some ads or other insignificant pieces of content out there that have also been lost to time, but they probably aren't as interesting as missing stories, lost tracks, or even an entire game we never got. I quickly want to mention this website since I don't know if I ever get the chance to mention it anywhere else. While it didn't help me for this video, it still provided interesting information and helped me on a few others. I highly recommend checking it out. I know unused content isn't lost content, but hey. When will I ever get the chance to talk about this? Well, that's pretty much it. I searched quite a bit to find more stuff, but as you can imagine, searching for things that have been lost isn't very easy. But if you know of anything else that may be interesting, please let me know in the comments. If it's something that gives me enough to talk about, I may make a video about it in the future. I hope you learned something new, or at least enjoyed this video, and I will see you next month. Have a good one. Bye. Hey, I originally planned a very different video for this month that heavily relied on me having access to my old footage and project files, but since they have all been lost, I couldn't do it. Even this video had to be remade completely. I also planned a big video for next month, but that is also lost. All I have is the script, which doesn't help me much currently. My next few videos are going to be like this one, shorter and simpler than my previous ones. It's not what I want, but what I have to do. Also, a short update, I have looked into data recovery and it looks like that's my last hope. I've gotten a price that I would consider to be fair, but it's simply an expense that I don't want to afford at the moment. As much as I want all the data back, the value of it is not high enough for me to comfortably pay professionals. Maybe in the future, but now I have other things to buy. Like new storage, for example. Also. This video is close to 1000 views, which isn't a lot, but I appreciate it, guys. A bit surprised it's this one and not that, but hey, I take it. Update on that video soon, by the way. Anyway, this was just a little update on how things are going at the moment. Now you know what's going on. Don't expect big uploads for next month. I also have another update, but that will have to wait until my next video. I'm sure if you follow me on Twitter or know what I'm doing besides this channel, you can kind of expect what it can be, but it's not that important. Anyway, I will see you soon. Now for real.